say finally, and that's because we have been in lockdown here in the UK for about three, three-ish months now, I think. I'm not, I've actually lost track myself, but it has been since Christmas, 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 since I've had a proper haircut. I've had a trim by my mother a few months ago. Obviously it wasn't ideal, but now I've got my proper haircut that I usually get when I go to the barbers and I could not be happier because I feel I look much better and it's just I ain't having long hair usually so anyways that's not what we're here for today but thank you guys um glad to see that you like it uh what's up I've, what's up I can't speak tonight what's up everyone how's it going Tom thank you so much Corlin how's it going yo so many people tuning in tonight welcome everyone Wolf, JDC, uh, Nico, Jacob, Cryptic, you went six months without a haircut, damn, damn, I can't imagine that, uh, Liam, how's it going, thank you so much, uh, what's up Dinos, thank you, um, Baby Doll, how's it going, thank you so much, Vice Kalea Samar, how's it going, welcome to another stream, Kyle, Maya, Connor, Oscar, Caven's along tonight as well. Jacob, yo, how's it going? JAK Football, what's up, man? What country am I from? I'm from Scotland. Scotland, Scotland in the UK. How's it going, Darren? My guy, welcome. I'm doing good. Jacob, thank you so much. How are you guys doing this Tuesday night? Forgetting my days. Uh, Raftalia, how's it going? So many people tuning in for tonight's Geocaster stream. Um, if you are a member, I actually added a new members only emoji. See if I can put it in chat. And we, we had one new emoji available and I was like trying to think of ideas. And I thought, you know what? We play GeoGuessr quite a lot here. Why not make a GeoGuessr related one? And I figured the GeoGuessr pin, the, the good old GeoGuessr logo looks really really nice and it came out so clean as an emoji so i'm very happy with how it turned out you guys can use it whenever you want maybe if we get something like bang on or whatever or if i get a dub um do jacobs in chat welcome both of you charlie how's it going can't miss the geocast stream you know it you know it you know it um thoughts on the super league i figured i would get this question quite a lot tonight Honestly, I don't really have any thoughts on it at all. There's quite a lot of people that are against it, and I can understand that, but I'm really not too bothered by it. Not really got an opinion on it. I think it could be kind of interesting. But again, it's it's one of those things that I just don't have an opinion on, to be honest. It's been 19 months since your last haircut, bro. Bro, I, I don't know if you're, if you're maybe growing it out, but if not, I could never do that. I could never do that. Uh, what's up, Spectron Dawn? Fresh, fresh trim. You know it. You know it. You know it. Um, Mary, how's it going? Stefan, where is the hoodie from? It is a champion hoodie. Um, what's going on with your bulls? Oh, bro, honestly, we lost five in a row, and then since Zach Levine got not injured but uh, health and safety protocols since then we've won every game so i don't know what is going on with with the bulls right now um gel how's it going man welcome to the stream am i going to begin yes i am going to begin let me get geogazer on the screen for you guys there we go so I was thinking of things that we can do in tonight's stream to make it a bit different from our usual geocaster streams. And I figured, you know what we never do? We never do like a big country streak challenge. So I thought maybe as a big team, all of us together can try and get uh, or beat my record for country streak. I don't know if you can pick it up well on camera, but my country streak is 15 countries in a row on my account but i think with my cousin and my girlfriend on a different account we got about 35 so 
we'll see if we can maybe play some country street just to warm us up see as a team if we can get a big 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 streak of guessing the right country in a row and uh yeah it should be really really fun and uh we'll see how we get on with that uh yo both the darren's in tonight how's it going darren b and darren o welcome guys um when's the new star soccer video coming out on friday and then there's two episodes left of new star soccer and then the brand new fifa player career mode series will be starting and i'm so excited for that um streaming at 10 is perfect for you right when you can relax yo ben i tried to make them at the uh, best times for i guess going to sleep and just nice and quiet in the house so i feel like 10 o'clock in the uk is perfect <coughs> so yeah when am I playing Forza again? Very soon, Charlie. I'm trying to make a video where it's like I get a really expensive car and I go just super, super fast cruising along in it. So we'll have to see. Um, is it windy at my place? Uh, I, a wee bit. I guess it's not too windy. We've had quite a lot of sun here uh, in the past week. Um, I believe tomorrow is meant to be very sunny here. And Thursday is meant to be very sunny, so I'm very excited for that. What's my favorite card deck? My favorite deck of cards is the Cherry Casino. Um, on Sunday, we posted a playing cards tier list video, and you guys loved it, so thank you so much for that. Uh, if you want to check it out to see what my favorite decks are, you can definitely go and check that one out. How is your day today because you seem tired? Yeah, I was up pretty early to make, um, uh, not to make, I was up pretty early to get my hair cut and I've been filming and I've got more filming to do after tonight's stream, so all in preparation for when I go on exam leave next week, so anyways guys, let's play some country streak and you can all help me see if we can beat our 15, so if you feel you know what country it is, feel free to put it in chat and we'll see if we can just warm up tonight with a big country streak. And then, yeah, yeah, Falcao, after country streak, I will be playing Battle Royale. And uh, if you want me to play with the chat, then sure, we'll play some games together because it's always very fun when I play with you guys. But I always get dominated, so tonight I'm determined. I'm determined to win a game against you all. Let's see what we can do here. So we've got some script, I think. I can't tell if it's Arabic. Um, I think this could potentially be Jordan. It might be, might be Israel. I don't think by the number place it is Israel though, but it could be Jordan or the UAE. I'm trying to see. I'd be leaning to go towards Jordan, more you guys thinking. It is Arabic, okay. Um, Iran isn't in the game, I'm afraid, uh, Dinos. Hey, Zinke, how's it going? Love the new uh, members only emoji, the GeoGuessr one. Let's see, we've got a little sign here on the right. Mm, I don't know what that means, that's obviously a place. Sale is spam. I think this is Jordan. What do we think? I mean, either way, it's the first one, so it's just a warm up. But, you think Jordan? All right, okay, we'll go for Jordan. If it is the UAE, I'm very sorry. Okay, we got it, it was Jordan. And it was right there to be exact. Okay, so one down, um, 14 more to go if we wanna beat my high score. Um, yeah, let's jump straight into the next one. What are we all saying for this one here? We've got a building that says Kubas. I think this is potentially European. I think I see the blue stripe on the number plate as well. Khaled, that was Jordan. Okay, I if you, if you were there 10 seconds earlier, I would have been so much more reassured. But we got it, we got it, we're lucky, we got it. Trying to see what this says over here. I can't quite make it out. Um, we've got a car here. Can I see?
see the side of the car. Um, I can't really, I mean that says this is a brand new Mai. No idea. Um, what are we saying for this one? You think Belgium? Let's see what this sign over here says. Oh, it's just a direction sign. That's not great. We'll go left. signs here. Icky. I'm not too sure about that, but I think this sign could be useful. Let's see what it says. Um, okay, so that says Vilnius, which I believe is that not the capital of Lithuania? I mean, that looks like it's spelled a little bit different, but they're very similar. Is that maybe Vilnius? Is that what it is in Lithuanian? Maybe. I think that would make sense that this is Lithuania as well. Now that I think about the language, we've got A's and E's for the road numbers. A's and E's. What do we think? Lithuania then? Would you guys be happy for me to go for Lithuania? Marat says yes. Jacob also says Lithuania. Um, hey Diego, how's it going man? Welcome back. Welcome back, back, back. Kyle, how's it going? Thanks for coming to the stream, bro. Could be Lithuania. Sure, should we go for it? Alright, let's go Lithuania. Yeah, there we go. So maybe that was a road sign for Vilnius, I don't know. But we seem to be very far away. We'll have to see. Um, yo, Jebraja, how's it going man? Welcome to the stream. For those that are just tuning in, we're playing a bit of Country Streak to warm up tonight to see how many countries in a row we can get as a team, so we'll all play together. Um, we're driving on the left here. I think this is potentially South Africa. It, it gets quite difficult when you get ones that look like South Africa because it also could easily be Iswadini or Lesotho keep going to see if we can maybe find out any clues. We've got a sign over here on the right. Yo, Jelda, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Are you the only one that hears a howling in the background? I don't know if my microphone's maybe. Let me know if that's better. I turned the gain down a bit. I don't know if it's picking up something that it maybe shouldn't be, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Um, doesn't look like South Africa. You think it could be Botswana? The soil is too dark. Mm. Botswana's a weird one for me. I'm not too good at sussing out if it is Botswana. Apologies if the background noise is too loud, if there's a little noise in the background. I can't really hear it though, because I'm not sure. If I'm too quiet now, I could always try and muck about with the, the audio. Let's see, let's see. What are we thinking, guys? It's not Botswana. Oh. Kind of mixed in chat. The streetcar is pretty much invisible. We do have a, a road sign over here. This car is inconveniently parked right next to it. We can still make out. It says St. Monica. St. Monica. Not too sure where that could be. It's very quiet. Not a problem. All right. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm glad it's not too not too loud then. Um, we have more things over here. Shall we just go for Botswana, or is it too risky? I'm, I'm feeling confident that this could be Botswana now. We do have a sign. Or a flag, sorry, not a sign. And is that not the Nigeria flag? I don't know. Oh no, that's, um, is that not? I can't remember which one it is. That's either Lesotho or Iswatini. I can't remember which one. I think it's a 
Chase Martini. No, oh, you can check. I forgot. That is still a Soto flag then. I forgot it shows you the flag for a second. So, there we go, right? I think that confirms it. Let's go for it. It is and just on the border as well. That's crazy, crazy close to being South Africa. Okay, well, thank God we didn't go for um, Botswana then. That would have been a bad, bad one there. But that's three countries down. Going into the next one. Got some English on these signs. I think it kind of looks like potentially Australia. Yeah, there we go. The dot .au would confirm that for us. So we'll just lock that in. Very nice, very nice indeed. Four countries in a row, right outside Melbourne. I really do want to go to Melbourne. Anyone from there in chat? Let me know, let me know. Let's go into the next round. Okay, these spawn points are very good. Lots of clues. Beckman. Um, it kind of looks German to me. German people, what do you think? It could always be Austria as well. I kind of get them mixed up from time to time. Um, Gunther, yeah, it sounds very German. I know there's a lot of people that watch that are German. So if you are from Germany, let me know. Um, you like me playing geogazer? Find out about places you've never heard of before. That is very, very true. That is very, it's very fun uh, playing Geogazer because you always get put somewhere. Alright, Kletteberg Universidad. Is that somewhere in Austria called Kletteberg? Do you think Austria? Austria probably. I think Germany. It's Austria. Not, oh, not Austria. It's Germany. Oh, okay. Let's see. Kletteberg. Can we actually find that in Germany? I don't think it's a very big place, though. And I don't see it. Let's, um... Can we see something on that? No. I, I think it could be Germany, just from... Just from guessing from the times I've had Germany before. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think that website says .de. So, Jack, should we go Germany? Should we lock in Germany? Deutschland? I'm gonna try and say this. Einbestrasse. I think that's how you say that. I can't tell you what it means. I'm sure one of you guys will let me know. Um, oh wait, we can even get closer now. Does that say .de? Yep, there we go. .de. Surely, Germany, right? Yeah, it's close to Belgium, close to Belgium, so there's that little mix over there. Let's go into the next one. Okay, you Guinness, let's look over at this building, could be something useful. Um, dot LD, is that Lithuania again, potentially? Dot LD, I think that would make sense for that to be Lithuania. It kind of looks to like the Lithuanian um, language, and yeah, it feels like it. I'll wait to see what you guys think, but I would be happy to go Lithuania on this one here. Where on earth have we just jumped? We're in a little town called Klevu. Oh, it could be Latvia as well. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. What would Latvia be? Maybe Elfi. I don't know. I don't know which one is is Lithuania or Latvia. If it's L D. I I can't remember. Let's see some place names. Sven Balanga, Sven Doji. Can we maybe find them in Latvia or Lithuania? Um let's see, what are they called again? Sven Doji. I feel like that's a tough place to find, isn't it? That might be somewhere quite small. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a Sven down there. There's 
sign here. I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, this is going to be tricky. What do you guys think? Do we just make a guess and go Ukraine or shall I keep on going down the road? Mm. The, the Greek alphabet looks more beautiful. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is, yeah, this, this is a really some sort of symbol that someone might recognize. Uh, have we guessed Russia? It could be Russia. I feel like it's a bit too flat, maybe, to be Russia. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but often when you get Russia, it's a bit more hilly, and um, this feels very flat. could also be Bulgaria. Oh, Latvia is LV. Oh, so I was right. I was right in my uh, my guess about the Latvian domain. It's Russia, Ukraine, or chat's very split on this one. What do you guys think? Not not snowy enough and nearly to be Russia. Okay, okay. Almost a hundred viewers as well, guys. What's up? We're playing some GeoGuessr tonight. We're warming up with a bit of Country Streak, and then we're going to be playing a few games of Battle Royale with you guys. So, if you want to stay tuned to have the chance to play along with us, then feel free to stick around. But you're heading off to sleep, then I do hope you sleep very, very well. Alright, I'm seeing a few more Ukraines in chat. Ava says Ukraine. How says Ukraine. Cameron and Cortland come through with Russia, though. Oh, what do we think? What do we think? Oscar thinks Ukraine. Crack thinks it could be Eastern Russia. That's also very true. That is very true. Are you going Ukraine? Wait, wait, there's something coming up. Let's see what this says, and if not, then we'll go Ukraine. But this looks like it could be important. Um, what does this say? Oh, is that a flag? Is that a flag? I think that's a flag, guys. I think, if you look, I think that is the Ukrainian flag with the blue on the top and the yellow on the bottom. So that would solidify our guess, but oh my days, look how close that is to Belarus. I can see why that was a tricky one then. Whenever you kind of get a bordering place, it's very difficult to tell. Especially when you get ones down in South Africa and, and things like that. Yeah, Ukraine, we got it guys, we got it. We'll go on to the next one here. We got a little red. I thought that was a flag, but maybe not. Um, oh, this is very dry, very sunny. Sungai Doga Road. I don't know. The sun is kind of, oh, kind of, kind of south. I can't really tell. We'll head down here and see if we can see more language, more clues, and things like that. We've got this here. National Parks Proposed Development of Various Parcels. So that is English could potentially be something like Malaysia or the Philippines. Um, and I think that's quite a familiar language that I see. I think it is in Asia, and it is Southeast Asia down here somewhere. Um, and you guys seem to think the same thing, so that's good, that's good. Um, but, oh wait, do we have a big clue here? Big clue, please. You guys, help help be my eyes, make sure I don't miss anything. And before it just says the country right on our screen and I miss it, I think if, if you can make it really, really small there, if you 
sort of full screen here browser that kind of looks like it says Singapore's National Water Agency I think I'm not sure so I think this is Singapore also this website right here says www.pubgolfsg which I think I can't really make up the dots but I think it's .golf.sg so should we go Singapore Oscar thinks yeah it's Singapore David agrees Kaki also agrees SNG alright let's go Singapore then I yeah I think it, that seems right yep there we go we're about to hit the double digits guys and we are in a very hilly but sunny region for this next one and it's very green very very green I think it could be Europe um, these houses always remind me of like Finnish houses like Finland I think the Netherlands have houses like that um, Norway as well they're quite common those kind of houses but we do have a sign here that says Nord Fjallmark which sounds very very Norwegian but I might be wrong I might be wrong I'll go back for it for you guys Nord Fjellmark Norway potentially Sweden Gregor you think you think Norway I think yes Scandinavian you think Finland Jeff oh this is a tricky one I say they're all tricky ones, but it is, it is tough. We'll keep on going, we'll keep on going. Um, we've got something coming up on the right. It's just a little jack house type thing. I don't think it's anything that we can decipher any clues from. Niskan says, it's Norway, trust me. A lot of people are saying Norway. Zinke thinks it is Sweden, however. The majority think Norway. What do we say? Do we just risk it? Um, let's go around the corner first before we lock in. Norway doesn't have white lines in between, but that name is sure Norwegian white lines on the side. Norway don't have them. Oh, that's interesting, because then it could be Sweden or Finland. Um, let's keep going down this road. Um, <coughs> I don't think anything's going to be coming up very soon, though. I feel like we're very... Oh, wait, we got another fast... I have no clue how to say that. It's not Sweden, says Niskan. But not in the middle when they drive. It's not Finnish. Okay, if it's not Finland and it's not Sweden, surely we're... We might agree to go for Norway, right? We got some water coming up. I do see some snowy hills off in the distance. Let's go Norway, and if it's not, then I'm sorry, but, oh, it is, it is, it is. It's Norway, and it's pretty north, so we're on a streak of 10. Things are looking good. Things are looking good here. As we are driving on the right in this next one, by the looks of things, pretty sure this is European. Um, let's try and get a better view of that. Um, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can really read that. It kind of looks like it says, for wash dung. I can think. You've got that little BS thing. I can't remember what you call that. But I think that would mean this is maybe Germany or Austria. Let's see. We have a blurred house, and I'm pretty sure... They do that in Belgium quite a lot, but they might blur. 
solar houses in other countries. I remember hearing in uh, another YouTuber playing GeoGuessr that in, in Belgium they like to blur houses from, from some places, but do they do it in Germany as well? You guys all think German. Okay, okay, okay. I think we'll look at this van and then we'll make our guess. That looks, yeah, there's no way that's Belgium. It's got to be Germany, right? It's got to be Germany. Do we just go for it? Let's get onto this road. I'm interested to see what this sign over here says. Deutschland. There we go. Surely we just go for it, right? Germany. Yeah. Again, kind of close to Belgium, though. You know, you can see that little crossover happening. Um, all right, so streak of 11 this next one we've got the yellow blurred plate and I'm pretty confident that this is the UK if I can get onto the road <laughs> um, we're outside an Asda for sure this is the UK I am stuck in an Asda somewhere in the UK <laughs> I am a as well so and of course we have English can I get onto the road or does this band just want to go to KFC and Asta there we go I'm just interested to find out maybe where this could be first just out of curiosity um, ah, we'll just we'll just go for it I guess we'll find out when we lock it in so we're in Hull. We're actually just outside of Hull. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So 12 countries. We are three countries off. Dying my high score. Four countries off. Beating our record. So guys, if you're awake or if you're in chat, this is your time to help us beat our record. We can do this, guys. Come on. What has happened here? The street van went on a little night, night travel. Are we actually going to get screwed over with this one? Oh no. We're driving on the right. I can see a yellow plate. But this is weird, man. Like there's a sign there, but there's no chance. We're going to be able to read it and I bet it's got something useful on it as well. But I mean, you guys can see, this is what I can see on my screen as well. There is absolutely no chance we're making out anything from that. I'm hoping if we just keep on going. Oh. Any. Does anybody know? Goodman as well. Does anybody know if this is some sort of petrol station? Um gas station company in your country any I've never heard of it um, but I'm, I was going to say I'm hoping if we just keep on going that it will turn day um, but this is not ideal um, Gavin thinks Austria just mark North Korea for the memes um, Austria or Switzerland those seem like reasonable guesses. We do have a sign, but again, is there any chance we can make out anything on it? That's pretty much all I can see. Could be Austria, the Netherlands, Norway. All good guesses. I think Austria does make sense. But this is, oh wait, it's daytime. It's daytime, guys. <laughs> we are. It's nighttime. It's nighttime, guys. <laughs> we got our little bit of sunshine. And. Bam, we're back into nighttime. God damn it. Gosh damn it. There's Ennis in France and Italy, too. Ah, so it's a, a European thing rather than just a country thing. Oh, it's getting lighter the more we go this way. But I think we might have to eventually give up. This 
this one here has really screwed us over. Um, do we just go for Austria then? It's not our best guess. Do Austria do yellow blades on the back? Does anyone know? Does anybody, buddy, 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 know? Oh, that's as far as we can go. Well, that's just perfect. That's perfect. Oh, we got something over here, though. Can I see it? Doesn't look like it. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Do we just risk an Austria? Do we just risk it? It is Austria. Literally on the border again to Germany. That is ridiculous. We might have actually traveled up towards Germany, which is why it got us off and didn't let us go any further. Maybe wow. Maybe wow. Right. Next round. I did see a big green sign over there. So we'll start to head to that. I think that's a highway. Can we jump? Oh yeah, look at that road jumping. So we have Budapest, Budapest, which is the capital of Hungary. So that was pretty lucky that we could do that. Um, but of course, we don't want to get messed over. I've had rounds before where we've been in a different country and it's just given a sign for, for Budapest, for example, um, from Slovakia, that's just an example, but everyone's saying easy, it should be Hungary, right? It looks Hungarian, so let's go for it, and we, we are. There's Eager as well that we saw on the sign. So this is it, this is it, the tie, my high score. What is this? <laughs> Where are we? Oh no. Please don't tell me this is how we lose it all. Please don't tell me. Feel free to shoot some random guesses in chat. By the way, guys, this is awful. What does this say? Precaution. Trapajos. Sobre. Is that Spanish? Argentina. Um, you think, you think it's Argentina? Oh, that would make sense with the language. Brazil, Chile, or Mexico. Couple of guesses for Argentina. 144. That would take us ages to find. But do they do little white? Yeah, they do. They do. I'm not sure if they do that. In, oh, they do it in Brazil as well. And in Chile, so... It could be any of them. And I don't think we're ever going to find... Oh, wait, there's 143. <gasps> there's the 144. If I found it exactly... Wait, so if we keep... Wait, there's something up here. If we can find, like, any place name... Because we found the 144. Um, let's go back a wee bit here. Um, San Rafael, that's the place name, right? San Rafael. We're outside a place called San Rafael, I believe. And it says it right there. Travel San Rafael. I can't believe I found the 144. We're right here, literally right there. Yup, we got it. Okay, so we are tied. My high score. So, if we can get this one here, we set a new BB. We will set a new BB. And again, we've kind of been screwed over here. But I think this might be Africa with the soil on the side of the road. But we'll travel for a wee bit. We'll travel for a wee bit. Although a few of you guys are saying Australia. Um, I guess it could be they do have kind of reddish soil as well. There's something coming up that says... Oh, can I get a better view of that? We've got Zanzibar and Dis 
Sedge Sepch. Wow, that is too many consonants <laughs> in a random order. Zanzibar on the B-150. We can maybe find that in a country. Um, that'll just so you know, you're not going to click until you find something. Yeah, that is, that is true. That is very true. It's Africa, South Africa, Kenya, Zanzibar. Is that in Kenya? Is, is Zanzibar in Kenya? Let's see if we can find it. Zanzibar. I, I wouldn't, if it's Kenya, we'll be able to see parts of the car, but we can't. Tanzania. I've never had Tanzania. Surely it can't be Tanzania, right? I've never got that in the game. I'm going to click off it so we can read the, gun, the um, city names. Is it in Botswana? The set. The set. Sebjue. The set. We'll just remember it by the set. <laughs> See if I can find that in Botswana. Because it is quite a small ish country. I mean, I, I, it's obviously pretty big, but like, there's not many places as you can see. Um, tell me if you guys see it before I do. Knock out the greatest eyesight. There's a lot of places to begin with DS, but I'm not finding this one that we have. Looks like there's a DS. St. Tanzania. It's an island. Is it? The thing is, though, is I've never, ever had Tanzania in this game. I don't even think it's in the game, is it? I mean, if you guys say it's Tanzania, I might have to go for it. But I have never, ever once got Tanzania. I was playing Geogazer. There's that descent place again. It's not in the game. I swear it's not in the game. And we've got Zanzibar and Bane's Drift. Swartwater. On the right in Botswana. Did we go past it? We might have gone past it. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. There it is. That's that place. Let's make your D S E D. Let's get this again. Where is it gone? D S E D S E B J W E. It's gotta be Botswana, right? We'll go for Botswana. But guys, if it is Tanzania, I apologize, but this is it. This decides if we beat our high score or not. It is, it is, it is in Botswana. Well noticed. It was it that noticed it before I did. Who uh, said it was on the right? Oh boy, I've lost your message, but. Um, Simon, thank you so much, man. On the right, thank you. We got it, we got it. So we've set a high score. literally end up doing this all night at this rate because you guys are coming in clutch for me today like if I was on my own I would have never gone for Botswana there um oh Caro Dam Aki Stay Rent we got white dotted lines on the side of the road we do have a sign coming up it's not letting me click here we go any of these places by any chance um scandinavia what time is it for me jeff right now it is 10 minutes to 11 p.m in the uk 10 
that you get. Finland is a show. Finland is a very good show. Try to read the license plate. Let's see if we can get a car. We can make out the... Oh wait, there's, there's one's bar down here. Can we get close to them? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Let's go back this way. Um, I'm happy to go for Finland on this one. We maybe should have set a time limit for each round. Let's just go Finland. If it's not Finland, ah well. It was Estonia. Did I say Estonia? Or did I not? Did, I can't remember if I did or not. Oh boy. Oh well. I mean, I guess we beat our high score. Um, no, don't worry, don't worry, Ice Cubies. I was leaning towards Finland as well myself when I saw the houses. But it did turn out to be Estonia. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh well, oh well. I mean, at least we beat our high score. We got 16 countries in a row. That was really, really good. Happy with that. Right, I think. With that note, it is time to play some Battle Royale, shall we? Let's play some Battle Royale, and we'll play with you guys as well. So what I will do is I will create a game here. I'm going to turn off the power-ups, and I'm going to copy this link and put it in chat for you all to join up. I'll put it in a few times so you guys can get it. But if you click on that link in chat, you will join our little lobby that we've created. As you can see, people are already, and we will play some Battle Royale against you guys, but if we remember from the previous streams, you guys are very, very good, so it's going to be a very interesting game, and uh, yeah. Oh, thank you, you're heading off now. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I really do hope you sleep well. We will try and get a dub for you. We'll try and get a dub. Yeah, sleep well. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Country Battle. We'll play some Country Battle, Kaven. Yo, Finchy, what's up, man? How are you doing, bro? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. We'll do what we'll do, Sam, is we'll do a little combination of both. We'll do a couple country uh, battles and then we'll do a few distance battles. So we've got eight players in the lobby right now. There's still two spots left. If anybody wants to join, sure to click the link that we put in chat. We'll wait uh, 30 more seconds to see if people join, but so far we've got Lava Lamp Lover. My Lava Lamp is literally sat right over here. Um, whilst we're talking about my Lava Lamp, I will quickly let you guys know that the final addition to my office, the proper lighting, uh, the last thing I'm getting to my office is probably one of the most important things for making videos. And that is the lighting. Uh, the lighting in my office is getting installed tomorrow. So, the office tour should be able to go out on Sunday. The long-awaited office tour. I'm so excited to make it and show you guys what, where I work, where I make these videos. Um... And yeah, I've got so many cool things to show you. So as soon as the lighting gets installed tomorrow, I can record that video. Get it out for you guys on Sunday. I guess I could have done it sooner. But there would have been a few things missing here and there, so... It just wouldn't have been ideal. But, uh... Anyways, on that note, we've got a, a game here. 
Someone's guest, Czech Republic. Not sure if it's Czech Republic. Czech Republic, Czech Republic. We do have some signs coming up. Fasa. I feel like I've heard of that, but I don't know where it is. Not many people have guessed. We might have to make some guesses, guys. Um, someone guessed Sweden. I'm going to go Finland. It is, okay. That was the very first country I said. So, I'm happy. Happy I got that mentioned before we got it. Raph Dahlia says, uh, he's finished. Okay, thank you, thank you. That, that solidifies it for us then. You could be very useful. We get Finland quite a lot on this. And a few more people have got it now. So, it looks like there's going to be eight of us advancing. Okay. Okay, okay. Next round. Let's see. We are in the trees. Somewhere in some sort of forest. When you get these big, thin, long trees, you tend to find them in Scandinavian countries. So this could be like Norway. That says speed limit though. I have an idea which country this is. But I'm not going to say it in case there's people in the game watching. I will make my guess when I see what other people guess. But I do have a, a good idea at what country this may be. And I feel I know whereabouts. Okay, so someone guessed the UK. I think I'm going to go for my guess now, which is Canada. It's not. Okay, that's very interesting. I thought it might be Canada. What on earth? Oh, well, there we go. I was close. I was close, guys. I thought it could be Canada because of all the trees. And um, it kind of looked quite northern. But I was, uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. It is the United States. Um, as seven of us advance into this very... to say Bob Brad I have no idea where these places are it kind of sounds Baltic which is like Estonia Latvia Lithuania but I've never heard of these places sadly I'm gonna make some guesses though my first guess is gonna be Lithuania nope go Latvia no Does that mean it's Estonia? That would be my last guess, but I have no idea. Ah, uh, no. Bob Brad. Bob Brad is in Slovakia, is it? Oh. Well. <laughs> Thank you, Vice Clay SMR, for the help. I guess it's only fair that I do get a little help from the chat, because if there's people in the game that are also watching the stream, and if I get one, they can see what I guessed, if they are quick enough. Um, this next one looks like it could be the UAE. Or potentially Jordan. Quite a few people are probably going to guess quick. It is the UAE. Okay, that was a reasonable guess. Um, oh, sleep well, fellow friend. 
friends, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next stream if you can make it. And uh, what's up, Jeffrey? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right, we're in Europe for this next one. Wow, Gavin is logged in very quick. There's no way, surely not. Unless he's had this one before. Oh, I can see why. First person to get it. Let's go. Let's go. So that was my big giveaway for people wondering how I got that. Hey, Brooke. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, what's my opinion on the Super League? Yeah, we mentioned this at the start of the stream. But again, I, I don't really have an opinion on it. I can see why people are against it. But honestly, I'm neither here nor there for it. I don't really... It'd be interesting to see it, but it'll be fun to watch, of course. Very competitive. But uh, I'm actually going to focus up here because we're in the top four and I don't usually get that against subscribers. I want to get to see this sign. That's the EU flag, which is annoying because I was not feeling like the EU at all for this one. Okay, let's keep going this way. You're thinking Norway. Um, I feel like this is quite southern if this is in Europe. I do have an idea, but I can't confirm it until I see any important signs with maybe language on it. Like that one there. Oh, that's not a language sign. That's annoying. Looks kind of Greek. Oh, Caven's okay, got it. Hopefully he's not found an important sign that we have not yet found. Oh, other people are getting it. Damn, is this where we go out? What do we think? What do we think? I'm going to have to make some guesses. Right, my initial guess was Turkey. It's not. I'll go Greece, but it's a tough one. And then my last guess is going to be maybe Croatia. And it's not. Jan guesses Croatia as well. Yeah, that would have been my next guess right there. So, it is not Croatia. If I had to make a guess, I'm going to close my eyes. I promise you guys I can't see. I would maybe go neighboring countries. So, like, Slovakia or Slovenia. Spain. Alright, I was not expecting to see Spain on my screen there. What on earth? That is, um unexpected very unexpected um, and the last one there for the win was Slovakia the game has ended Lava Lamp Lover was the last one standing and won G G the Lava Lamp Lover and I've just noticed what his uh, picture is <laughs> the European Super League Nope. Lava Lamp Lover GG. Kaifin or Island in second. Tomas Falcao in third. We took a fourth, which I'm happy with for our first game. <laughs> and then GG to everyone else there. That was a good game. Um, this is rather relaxing. You could say it's similar to the feeling you get when watching videos created. Do give you. Uh, okay, you ended that on purpose, by the way. Okay, right. Anyways, shall we create another lobby here to play another game with you guys? Let's do a bit of... Let's do a distance battle next to give it a bit of a switch up. So yes, the only sock, I will pop a link. I feel like I always say that. I'll pop a link. Chat. So, uh, if you guys have GeoGuessr Pro and want to play with us in this next game, be sure to click the link in the chat. I put it in a few times for you all. But we'll run this back, give this a go, playing some distance battle in the next one. I feel like I'm probably better at the country battle. The distance one is quite tricky. But uh, we'll, we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. This is your last one, Kaven. Okay, need to go to bed. No worries, man. Thank you for playing. We'll make this a good, a good game then, hopefully. 
So joining us, we've got Fair Casarello. We've got Ford again, uh, Ireland again, GGSAG, DFG again. We've got the only Salk this time. We'll have a lap lovers back in it. We'll see if he's just as good at the distance battle as he was at the countries. We got Jake, I'm your type, and DI84 joining us. So let's jump in to this game. Okay, so I've got some big important signs over here. If we can maybe take a look, work out the country. Okay, so we know the country. Let's try and work out where we could be. I would guess somewhere pretty pretty populated within the country that we think it is. It's pretty obvious, pretty obvious, but we'll go let's go up north and I'll, I'll just go there, but it's going to be difficult because I have no idea what city that we could be in, but I'll do a little look about just in case, just in case. I feel like we're near the sea for some weird reason. Are we near the sea? We are. Okay, and the sea is on our east. So, maybe around here would be a good guess. We'll find out. Find out. We are going to be making it through to the next round, however. And it was quite south, actually, just here in Denmark. Very interesting. But we made it, so we'll take it. see again is that I don't know that might be mountains um, let's start driving I'm feeling Europe though I'm feeling Europe potentially like Slovakia Slovenia that kind of area we've got some sit uh, down names that looks kind of Polish and I've heard of this place I believe I think this is Poland and I think it's like up here I think I think it's in the north seven miles would probably say otherwise maybe this is south maybe this is south Poland I don't know we'll find out though we are still second on the board second on the board and oh it's south okay well we got it we got it regardless which is good we were the second closest I'm happy with that. Let's move into this next one. Feel free to help me in chat, guys. See if we can get a dub. Dub, 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 dub. What do we got? Oh, Chang University. And this is maybe Thailand or Cambodia. I'm not very good at distinguishing the difference. So I may just make a guess somewhere pretty populated. Let's take a look at the languages. I'm feeling Cambodia for some weird reason. So I will go for Cambodia. And I'm kind of near the bottom of everyone's guesses. So I would guess it is maybe not Cambodia. And I might change my guess here. I think I will. All right, I got closer. I got closer. So maybe up here, just outside Bangkok. I'm going to keep my guess because we're still in it. Okay, so it was right bang at the top of Thailand. Very north. Very interesting. Uh, Thailand drives on the left, Cambodia on the right. Okay, I need to remember that because I thought they were both on the left. So I really should have noticed that. Hope to see you. maybe Irish or Welsh I have no idea I think it might be Welsh and we're driving on the right so I'm gonna go Wales I'm gonna go maybe up here because I think it could be Ireland as well I'm 9,000 
thousand miles away. What? What? It's got to be Ireland then, right? I'm going to change my guess. Now I'm even further. What? I was 9,000 miles away from the next guess. Wait, what? It was in Australia. Almost everyone was guessing Wales as well, so that's really interesting. I have no idea why. I didn't know. Burnley Bolton, okay. So that is gonna be... I thought it was kind of south, is, is it not? Burnley and Bolton, I mean not like down here. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh, there they are, there they are. Um, Alright, I'll just go Bolton. I can't see Burnley for some reason. Alright, I'll go for it. I'll try and yeah okay a six seven six there's Burnley now I think we might be up here a bit there we go straight to the top just to confirm us yeah 9,000 miles is a lot so I was I couldn't process why I think maybe I thought the game had messed up because I didn't know in Australia that they did that kind of language as well but uh, we made it through, we were the closest in that one there. Um, I am from the UK, which is why we, we got that so quickly there, for those wondering. Where are we in this next one? Dot NE, does that say? I think it does. Oh no, it says dot net. It doesn't look like the Netherlands either, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, I just glitched onto a road. Maybe Austria or Germany. I think Germany. I've got better cups, by the way. I'm going to go Germany. I'm going to go, like, outside Cologne and Bonn. And I'm the furthest away. Okay, I'm going to move more north then up here for my next guess. Did it guess? Oh, I'm still further away. Alright, let's go over here. Oh no, near Berlin, you guys say. I'll make one last guess. No, I couldn't click fast enough. Oh no. <laughs> I went to go click, make guess, and then the map changed size and moved it about. I don't know if you guys saw that happen, but I was about to click on Berlin. That's annoying. That is very annoying. But, uh, oh well. We got fourth again. What is it about me and coming fourth? This one looks pretty obviously like Spain, I think. For this one here. I might be completely wrong, though. But I think this looks very Spanish. Maybe Portuguese, I don't know. I might be completely wrong. It could even be Italy until I find something useful. Okay, I've actually no idea, actually. But if I was playing in this one, I would maybe guess somewhere, somewhere south in Spain. I have no idea. I could be very, very wrong. We'll see, we'll see. DI-84 is at the top, Lap Lover in second. It is Spain, and yeah, I pretty much said it, somewhere south in Spain. It was Sevilla. So, going into the finals is DI-84 and Lamp Lover, but there can only be one winner. And this is a really tough final because it looks like we are in America, so I am glad I am not competing in this final because... Well, America and Geogazer is very difficult. Very, very difficult. Huge, huge country. And not being from America, I'm not great at narrowing down where we are. But yeah, good luck to both these guys. If I had to make a random guess, I would go... I'd say maybe... 
like Central East. I don't know. Looks like it's potentially Christmas time. We've got lights up. I'd maybe go Central East. What would you guys think? You think it's Canada? Oh, if I got it completely wrong. Oh, it is Canada. And it was East. And it was actually in Toronto. Which is really, really interesting. Uh, was it in kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour? Okay. That would make sense then. So, GG again. This time, the winner is DI. second game of the night, Lap Lover in second this time, um, and Fex comes in third, I took a fourth again, um, but I know, I, I know, you guys are very good, so I'm very happy to get, uh, fourth, GG to everyone there, wonder what happened to Kaven. I think he, he kind of dipped halfway through there, because he didn't make a guess in one of them, wonder if I'll ever get Russia in it. Yeah, country is the, the country of Russia is huge whenever we get Russia plus playing Geogaster. I'm pretty bad at it, so Toronto is a good trigger word. You think? Toronto, 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 Toronto. Alright, let's do something a bit different here. You should play no moving on world. That's very interesting. Let's give it a go and see how I am. I feel like I'd be very bad though. No moving on world. Oh my days. This looks terrible for a starting one. Imagine we can move and just click up there. I don't know. I'm feeling European. I'm feeling kind of central European. Let's make a guess. So I have no idea. I'm gonna go maybe. Czech Republic, maybe kind of down here. Again, no idea. It was France. I got 2,000 points for that. Let's go into the next one. Coca Cola, Avenida de los Incas. Looks Spanish. What do we got up here? Combo. Unico. Um, I think this is. Where's the sun? It's in the north. I think this is South, uh, South America, right? It's got to be South America. But which country? Looks like a pretty big city. But I don't know which one. You think Mexico? Is it Mexico? Is that the Mexican taxi? Mexico, they have the Mexican dollar. So we'll just shoot for Mexico. And I feel it would make sense just to go Mexico City, right? Nope, it is Buenos Aires in Argentina. Well, that uh, serves us right for jumping to conclusions. This next one looks like. Scandinavia, maybe. What do we think, guys? What do we think? Um, what's up, Aaron? How's it going? Title, can you please play the obscure map on Geocaster? It's places that you don't usually get, and it's very fun. Yeah, sure, we'll give it a go for this. We'll give it a go. I've never heard of that, so we will give it a go. I'm actually just going to make some random guesses here. Let's go, like, Finland. We'll go, like, out here. Not too bad. It was Sweden. Sweden. 3,000 points. This is, I'm having a very bad game here. Um, which just shows that when you can't move, it is a lot harder. Is this America, or am I just being an idiot? That's America, right? It's gotta be America. And again, America, 
I may as well just do this if it's America <laughs> and wherever it clicks like there we go for it again I was never gonna get out there so last one here oh can we make that out in the distance I don't think so it kind of looks oh could this be maybe oh that says Poland on the back it's got to be Poland right got to be Poland I feel like it's close to Germany though so I'm gonna go like out here maybe right it was Germany oh no it's actually not that's very close but it's Denmark right so in a no moving world my first ever one I've done that I got 10,000 so I don't know if that's good or not but um, let's try this obscure interesting photospheres in obscure countries or is it an obscure world which one? Which one? Which one? Drug bait, you know it. <laughs> it said Poland. Why was it not Poland? Is it an obscure world or interesting photospheres in obscure countries? This one here. Alright, let's give this a go. I've never done this, so this should be interesting. Let's just do the default settings and see what this is like. Restaurant to China. I mean, it doesn't have to be China, does it? Oh, it's a photosphere, so we can't move anyway. It looks like we're driving on the right. Could this be maybe... That looks kind of French. Could this maybe be Nigeria or Ghana? Oh, look at this guy's hand. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think this could be Nigeria. We've got a flag over there that there's no chance I'm going to be able to make out. Um, but yeah, I think this. Can we see up there? It looks like just a Chinese restaurant. But we've got some French over there and a wee bit of English. So, not Nigeria or Ghana. Okay. Senegal. Did it say Faso on the sign? Um, am I missing something? Up here. That says Lombardy. That is French. It's got to be the French side of Africa, right? Is it Senegal? Let's Nigeria flag was it? And is that the Nigeria flag? The Nigeria flag is green, white, and green, but that kind of looks blue. So this is weird. This is weird. This one. Um, it's definitely over here. Definitely over this side, I think. Do we just go Senegal? Let's just go Senegal. It might not be. Um, and I will go in Kowlak. Oh, it was Burkina Faso. Okay. Noted. Noted. I guess because it's photospheres, it's going to be countries that you don't get much of. I didn't think about that. Uh, anyways, in this one we have... What are these flags? I don't recognize that one. That one kind of looks like, what, like Honduras or Guatemala. I have no idea. What are these flags? I can't remember. I, that one looks very familiar. But this looks like potentially some famous place that I really should know, but I unfortunately don't. Anybody recognize these flags? That one's just blue, white, and blue. And I don't know what country that is. Blue flag again, of course, of course. Um, La Republica, that kind of looks Spanish. So, could this be Honduras? 
Honduras or Guatemala. Maybe. There's a few hills in, in these countries. We could be up here. Um, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. It could actually be Honduras now that I think about it. Looks like the Angola flag. But you don't think they're country flags. Oh, right. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Dominican Republic. It's a good show. It's a good show. I definitely feel like we're over this side of uh, South America. When you look across there, it kind of looks like Brazil, but of course it's not going to be. I mean, I mean, well, I mean, it could be. I just bashed my face off the microphone whilst saying that. You know what? Let's just go for Let's just go for, I'm going to go Honduras just for some weird reason, and we'll see, we'll see. Oh, okay, so it was Nicaragua, 4,000 points, that was a good guess, I think, then, right? What does the Nicaragua flag look like? Let me take a look. Nicar oh, the Nicaragua flag. Is also blue, white, and blue. Okay. Well, that I think like all these flags around here are kind of blue and, and white, so that that's a tricky one. But four thousand points, I will take that. Oh my god, this next one, we're on some sort of island, a deserted island. We got some people over there. We got the sea. Where where could this be? What the heck? This is such a cool map though, I love this. Maybe we have to make a video where we just do this, because this is so fun. Um, we literally could be either at the south of some country, or we could literally just be on an island somewhere random. Looks like that small country, very, uh, very unspecific, that small country. Somewhere in the Caribbean. Where's the sun? The sun is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of in between, to be honest. Starting with the D. Oh, okay, okay, we're getting more specific. Island vibes. Have I seen the film Sleepers? I've actually not. Not heard of it either. White blue is a variant flag of El Salvador. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That's really interesting. Thank you, thank you for letting me know that. Um, honestly, we literally could be somewhere out like Bermuda. Imagine, imagine it's Bermuda. That'd be funny. Um, but are we? Pacific or the Atlantic. I have no idea. What do you guys think? Trinidad. 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 Oh, this is really weird. We could be on one of these islands. Trinidad's an interesting guess. Let's let's go. Dominica, and we'll just honestly log in because I want to see where this is. Oh, it was Trinidad. Okay. Okay. Locus, you were right. That's really cool. <laughs> so Alaska, you are you are right. That that island beginning with a D. That was really cool though. Let's go to the next one. This is gonna be very interesting. We are on some sort of river. I feel like this one should be pretty obvious to you guys, but it's not to me. Looks maybe like Arabic. Could be Arabic. Um, what do we think? What do we think, guys? This is a weird one. We got like going alongside us. Um, thing is, it could literally 
with are like Israel, Jordan, the UAE, whereas now that we're not playing a country streak, it could literally be like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Iraq, Yemen, literally anything. Um, and there is this river flowing. Let's see if we can see any rivers in particular countries. Um, it could even still be Israel, for all we know. It could even be Egypt. It could be Egypt. Egypt's a shout, you know. You guys think Saudi Arabia for this one. It's a very big country. Um, which side are we driving on? Yes, that is true. I think we're on the left. Which countries do they drive on the left down there? Looks like we're on the left anyways. And I have no idea which ones do. Um, they drive on the left. Yep. Yemen. Y you guys think Yemen, maybe? There's a few Yemen guesses. There's some sort of river. Imagine we're like right here. Where does the river go? The river goes kind of, you know what? It could be there. It actually could be there. Although there is these, there are these big mountains around us and I don't see many mountains down here. So probably not, probably not there. Saudi Arabia. Where's Medina? Medina? Like there? I don't see any. Oh, wait, is there a river up there? There's a river up here. You know what? We'll go for it because that seems reasonable and I have no idea. Wow, okay. What country is that? What country is that technically in? Is that. Or Pakistan, I can't work out. I think it counts as Pakistan. Is that Pakistan? I can't work out. I think that is Pakistan, right? That's really interesting. If you we were right, Greg, yeah, it was Pakistan. That's crazy. I did not expect it to be Pakistan. That's really, really interesting. Right. Let's go into round five, the last one here. Oh my. What? I have never seen anything like this in GeoGuessr. Wow. What on earth? We are in like a helicopter. 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 Looking over some boats and what looks to be the country that we are just off the coast of. Is that Australia? I have no idea. It does look beautiful, but I have no idea. What country could this be? Good luck. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. The sun is south. Okay. Right. That is very interesting. I literally, I'm going to leave this one up to you guys because I have no idea. Yeah, it can be Australia if the sun is in the south. Be like a Pacific island. You think, you think. This is going to be a tough one indeed. Are those volcanoes over there? You know what? They actually could be. They look like volcanoes. They could well be volcanoes. Where is this? Oh, thank you so much. It's called XN. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Norway or Finland? Really? Maybe around Indonesia. Literally can't make out anything, so this is very tricky. Um, yo, double gangers. Thank you 
so much doppelgangers for the I think that's 10 Australian dollars not too sure but uh, thank you so much man for the super chat I hope you are enjoying the stream and uh, huge bugs huge bugs for doppelgangers thank you so much man you think you guys think Hawaii you think Hawaii makes sense that would make sense let's go for it let's go like here oh it wasn't it was Papua New Guinea I think right okay in Kokopo and it actually said we were on land which is funny but uh we were out here oops I think it's actually going to take us to it again. Yeah, there we go. We're right here. In Papua New Guinea, which is very interesting. Very, very interesting. But that was such a fun game there. Um, I think, guys, this is where I'm going to bring tonight's stream to an end. Uh, perfect timing. Yeah, Double Gangers, thank you so much again. And I hope you sleep well. Um, I hope you all sleep well. And I've had a great day. Um, it's been so fun streaming tonight, and um, yeah, I've had, I've had a lot of fun playing Battle Royale, we beat our country streak, and uh, that right at the end there was very interesting, so I might make a video on that, because that was very fun, so thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy, be sure to quick, quick drop a thumbs up before you head off, and uh, I appreciate you all tuning in tonight, thank you so much guys. Um, I will be doing my last stream for a couple weeks this Saturday. So on Saturday I'll be streaming at about 10 p.m. British time again. Um, and then I'm going to be taking two weeks off. And the reason is, is because I've got exams and they're pretty important exams for me um, in my university stage. So I need to be getting good results in these. So as a result... Um, I'll be taking a few weeks off streaming, but as soon as they're done, I will be on holiday for one, two, three, like four and a half months. So you best believe we'll be doing more than two streams a week as soon as these exams are out of the way. Trying to get maybe three, three streams a week should be fun. <laughs> Playing lots of games and things like that, so I cannot wait for that. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Oops, I can't point correctly with this. Instagram oh, and on Twitter. And um, yeah, that's it for tonight's stream. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you all on Saturday night. Good night, guys.